What's going on, football fans? It's me, J.R. Clark, back again with a Falcon Eye View. This time we're going to do something a little different than we've been doing in the past. Uh, we've had some issues with copyright claims on the film breakdown, so I decided to try something a little different. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a mock draft uh, using the PFN Mock Draft Simulator, uh, which you'll see here in just a minute. Uh, I thought it was would be fun and interesting to see what that simulator would would throw at us it's one of the free ones that actually proposes trades uh so i thought about having a little bit of fun with it uh it come up with some interesting stuff and there was always like you know the people on the board that we wanted and stuff like that but um just trying to have a little bit of fun with it i hope y'all enjoy this mock and you know definitely give me your thoughts down below and uh give me your thoughts if if this is something that you like and if y'all want to see this continue on Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this mock draft. All right, so this time around, we're going to be using the PFN mock draft simulator, as you can see up here, because they were nice enough to give us permission to use said mock draft on our channel. So I've got it set up to do six rounds because, you know what, we're going to go ahead and do seven rounds just in case. What I do like about this mock simulator is that it proposes trades. So that's something that we're going to explore uh, in this particular mock draft is to see what kind of trades it puts out. We're going to go at a fast pace so that we're not sitting here forever <laughs> doing the mock draft. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up we have the Arizona Cardinals proposing to give us the 16th pick, the 49th pick. The second round, third round, and fourth round from next year. Now, I would like myself to have another first rounder next year. That's just my my opinion. But for this particular mock, let's go ahead and accept this trade. I'm pretty sure y'all gonna be like, "Oh God, that's not another not good value." Blah blah blah. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. But this is what the simulator has put out. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see what we can uh well hey there's an option to counter so let's see here all right so i want the first from next year they can keep the fourth and i'll give them our let's see first second third fourth fifth second fifth i'll give them our second fifth all right now let's propose that Propose a trade, confirm, oh, our trade was declined. All right, so that leaves us with the fourth overall pick. The fourth overall pick, we can go Panay Sewell, Kyle Pitts, um, Jamar Chase. What is this trade offer? What is that? Oh, it's still on the line. Huh, check that out. I'm still learning a little bit about this. Uh, let's try to counter it one more time. We're going to, uh, yeah, let's see. Let them keep their third and fourth. No, we'll take the third and fourth and then keep their second from next year. I want their first is what I want. So let's try that. A first and a fourth from next year. First and a second this year. So let's propose. Confirm. Ah, oh, trade was declined again. Trade offer. All right, we're just going to reject them. Uh, let's go with on the board. Like I said, we've got Penesul, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Trey Lance, Jalen Waddle and Rashawn Slater. I, I I can't help it. I'm gonna go with the unicorn. I mean, I'm gonna go with Kyle Pitts, and we'll see how everything else transpires. All right, on to round two. Round two, the Bengals want. They're offering us a third next year for a fifth this year. All right. You know what? I'll accept it. We'll pick up another third for next year. That's that's pretty good. Um. Well, they're giving. Mm, nah, I ain't trying to move that far back in the second round. So we'll reject that one. Reject that one as well. All right. Now, Terrence Marshall, good wide receiver. Pat uh, Fairmuth, uh, also known as Baby Gronk, is on the board. So we already got Kyle Pitts, so we don't need Pat Fairmuth. 
Uh, so let's see. We've got Jalen Phillips is still on the board if you want an edge rusher. Uh, if you think we need a guard, Wyatt Davis is sitting there. Uh, he's probably one of the better guards. Now, here's the thing. We can continue to help the offense with Javante Williams. Or we can start to help the defense with somebody like a Rich and, Richie Grant or Baron Browning. Huh. I'm really thinking that the safety needs the safety position is going to need a lot of help. So I'm going to go with Richie Grant on this one. So there we go. We'll go with Richie Grant. We're going to keep on trucking. Third round. They want us now. I'm good there. And no. All right. We're going to stay where we are. Let's see. All right. 60. Ooh, we can get Ronnie Perkins. He's sitting there. Same thing with uh, Pete Werner and another running back, Michael Carter, who's good. Huh. Let's go with Ronnie Perkins. Uh, we need some help off the edge. And I think uh, Perkins is a guy who I believe is going to be a better pro than he was a uh, college player. And he was a good college player. So we're going to go with Ronnie Perkins. Keep it on moving. Keep it on moving. All right. Round four. Where are we at? All right. We got Tommy Trimble. So if we want to keep at stacking up the... Uh, tight end room he's an excellent uh blocking tight end who i think is going to project to be a much better pro tight end i don't think he had a much of a chance he was kind of buried in the depth chart uh there at notre dame but as we've already gotten the unicorn and we still have hayden hurst i think that would just be a little ridiculous to grab yet another tight end you have milton williams out of louisiana tech uh let's see Milton Williams, uh, fast rising defensive lineman who started the past two seasons. And the negatives, not a quick sudden line analysis. Draft stock has been on a straight shot north the past two seasons. Uh, I think we're okay right now, defensive end, with the what is already on our roster. Um, I think another safety, honestly, our safety room or even uh, our offensive guard is you know thin. Let's let's take a quick read on this. Darius Washington. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Negative, small, struggles and battles to lose out to bigger receivers. Not a stout tackler. Ooh, Washington is an elite, um, an athletic defensive back with terrific ball skills, but has size limitations. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I ain't dealing with size limitations. Now Andrew Cisco is still on the board. Ooh, and so is Trey Sermon. Let's take a look at what running backs are on the board still. We've got Trey Sermon and my guy, my guy, Ramadre Stevenson. Ooh, that's going to be tough for some people. Are going, You know what? Heck with it. I'm going to take Ramadre Stevenson. See what they say about him. Uh, negatives. Plays at one speed, possesses limited quickness, and also no burst in his game. Not a creative back who will, impo uh, who will impose or make something out of nothing uh cannot quickly cut back against the grain and struggles changing directions stevenson is a hard charging ball carrier who did a good job for oklahoma last season but he struggled during the senior bowl practices he's one-dimensional and is strictly a short yardage back who will be a rotational ball carrier all right all right you've changed my mind we're gonna go trey sermon i liked what he was able to do um, I think he was a guy who did like, like produced, but I wonder what they say about him here. Negatives lacks the speed and quickness to turn corners and isn't a true perimeter runner, uh, suffered a significant collarbone injury during the national title game in January. Nah, okay. Um, what I did see of him is, is, yeah, they said he's, you know, powerful runs through tackles, um, and has defenders bouncing off him, possesses outstanding short area quickness with the ability to make defenders miss. Um, uh, who else is on the board right now? Who would give us Kenny on raw? Let's see. All right, man. I guess I'm going to have to go with, uh, I, I think I'm going to take Trey Sermon. We're just going to go with. Go with Sermon and see if he can produce, right? Back to all. Round five. 
Um, you know, let's see. Mm, there's a lot in this in this round. Let's go ahead and we'll just reject that one. The heck with it. All right, Anthony Schwartz. Now, this is a guy who I've been hearing a lot of buzz about. Positive game, uh, game-breaking game receiver with home run hitting speed. Legitimately gets the top speed, but um, oh, immediately gets the top speed. Plays to his 40 time negative. Not a big frame receiver. Gets easily brought down at the point by a single defender. Double catches. Too many throws. Yeah, let's go. What else can we get right here? We're at 148. Oh, there's Toby's guy, Victor. We can add him off the uh, edge. We could add another safety, Divine uh, Dabble, out of Virginia Tech. Jonathan Marshall. What do they say about Jonathan Marshall? Lax, great ball. Ah, whatever. All right, let's go with let's go with Anthony Schwartz. We got some more picks at the end of this round, I believe. Yeah. All right. Uh, we need a we need some offensive linemen. So, Cole Van Lane from Wisconsin. Let's see what he's got. Doesn't sink his butt at the line of scrimmage. Oh, that's a technique thing that can be worked on. Heavy-footed and minimally effective blocking and motion. Lacks footwork, agility, and lateral blocking range. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, as he is the best one on the board, if we're going to go BPA with this one, we need an offensive lineman, so that's who we're taking. All right, next, time, next up, we're going to go with... Well, we could go with a, a good blocking tight end there to add to our rotation to take over for Lee Smith and, you know, all y'all say we don't ever take Georgia players. So let's grab Trey McKitty. And I think that's about it for us, folks. Oh, here we go. We got one left. Jonathan Cooper and Larry Roundtree. You know what? We're going to go with Cooper. I've read a lot of decent things about him. I'm surprised he's still sitting on the board at this junction. Um, and it seems like it's good value for where we're at. So we're going to go with Jonathan Cooper to round out our picks. We don't have any picks in the seventh round, at least as of right now. There you have it, folks. That's the mock draft. I think we did pretty good. We came away with some pretty interesting uh, names, uh, obviously headlined by Kyle Pitts, the unicorn of this draft, arguably the best player in the entire draft. Uh, so if this team is truly thinking – BPA, you know, um, you could end up with the top player of the entire draft if, if we went this route. Uh, we were also able to pick up a third round for next year. That could be handy. Um, the trades that were proposed uh, were some pretty interesting ones. Ultimately, we went kind of a little conservative this time around. Uh, maybe if this is something y'all like, we'll try and explore some different avenues uh, in later drafts, but I was real happy with, uh, the first four rounds with, uh, like I said, Kyle Pitts and addressing a need in safety at Richie Grant. Uh, I think he could be a star in this league. Um, I, I obviously at the free safety position, you pairing him with, uh, you know, Jalen Hawkins, I think could, could make for a good tandem, uh, adding Ronnie Perkins, in the third round, uh, will give a solid edge depth or edge presence that we are, are kind of lacking right at this moment. I mean, you have Dante Fowler, Stephen Means, and that's about it. I mean, we're not 100% sure what Marlon Davidson is going to be in this new uh, defense or what John Kaminsky's role is going to be. So getting another edge presence, I think, is you know pretty uh, imperative. And then rounding out the top four is Trey Sermon, who I think can be a solid number two back this year and could potentially be a number one back going forward. Uh, he's a good all-around back, uh, good catching the ball out of the backfield, has good speed, not great speed, um, but I think could be uh, a force paired with Arthur Smith. 
so that's our first like official mock draft and if that's something that y'all enjoy like i said we'll try to keep doing it uh leading up to the draft i'll try to get the uh, other guys involved uh this was kind of a test run uh, but anyway as always y'all can follow me on twitter i'm at grim 1128 g-r-i-m-m-1128 and catch us live on wednesdays as we live stream and definitely catch us uh the first two days of the draft we'll be live streaming both of those trying to get guests on and stuff like that so it ought to be real good and i hope to see y'all there as always falcons fans rise up <laughs>